What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Well, God bless you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Sister Banks. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. Good morning, Tamika. Good morning, Sister Jackson. Good morning, Pastor and Lady Young, the Young Family, and the Rock Church of Brockton. Good morning, Patia. Good morning, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, Dorothy. Good morning, Grace Abound. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Pinckney. Good morning, DJ Forgiven. Good morning, Brother Morris. God bless you, sir. Good morning, Mika. Good morning. Good morning, Reese. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Jewel. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you, Deacon and Mother Graves. God bless you. Thank God for what the Lord is doing in Deacon's recovery. We're continuing to pray for him. In Jesus' name. Good morning, Sister Bailey. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Morris. God bless you. And Minister Morris. Good morning, Sister Keelan. Good morning, Sister Bailey. God bless you. Bishop and Mother Joseph, your family, and all the precious saints of Trinidad and Tobago. Good morning, Sister Winters. Good morning, Lydia. God bless you and your family. Praise Jesus, Deacon Stokes. God bless you, Sister Stokes, and your family. Good morning. Sister Roseford, God bless you. Good morning. Sister Cheek, God bless you and your family. Good morning. Minister Abraham, God bless you, young preacher, and your family. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you. Good morning. Sister Jackson Perry, God bless you. Good morning. Bishop and Lady Alde, God bless you, your family, and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning, Sister Speller. God bless you and thank you for your prayers. Good morning, Sister Chambliss. God bless you. Good morning, Minister Hodges. God bless you, man of God. Good to see you this morning. Good morning, Sister Nash. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Walker. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Mother Wilkins. God bless you both in Jesus' name. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Clark. God bless you. I pray you're having a wonderful time. Good morning, Deacon and Mother Wilson. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Holman. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Street. God bless you. Good morning, Jeannie. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Terrence, Amaya, and Alexis, and your entire family. Good morning, Sister Sarah. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Smithers. God bless you. Good morning, Angela. My dear sister, God bless you. Good morning, Robin. God bless you. Good morning, Tiana. Good morning, Sister Walker. God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer for more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And I am just so excited because we're getting praise reports, saints of God doing some amazing things. Cancerous tumors are shrinking. 
Praise God. Cancerous tumors are shrinking. People who have been under surgery are recovering and going home. God is just working because the saints are praying. Hallelujah. I tell anybody prayer works. And if you pray, God will indeed hear and answer your prayer. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, please place it into the chat. Or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it in the chat. It's on the screen. Or you can direct message Pastor RJD. Pastor RJD. And to everybody that's on the conference call, and we thank God for all of our conference call listeners. Everybody on YouTube, thank God for our YouTube viewers. And anybody can text in your prayer request to 336 336- Five six seven five three five eight. Again, the number is three three six five six seven five three five eight. Text in your prayer requests. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for miracle signs and wonders. Let's go to the scripture this morning. We're in the book of Proverbs still. Proverbs chapter number twenty four. Verses number 26 through 29. Proverbs chapter 24. Verses 26 through 29. And the Bible says. Every man shall kiss his lips that giveth a right answer. Prepare thy work without and make it fit for thyself in the field. And afterwards build thine house. Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause. And deceive not with thy lips. Say not I will do so to him as he have done to me. I will render to the man according to his work. According to his work. And I want to speak to you this morning from the subject an honest kiss. An honest kiss. If you have studied the life of Jesus. And if you have studied the. um, How Jesus was captured. By the Pharisees. How he was captured by the scribes and the chief priests. And the elders. You know that. um, Judas who was one of the disciples said that he would identify Jesus because he would kiss him. And he walks up to Jesus and kisses him on the cheek to identify that that is indeed Jesus Christ. Don't know why that was necessary because they knew Jesus. They knew his popularity. They knew his, um, they knew him from his notoriety. So they knew who Jesus was, but the act of betrayal, the kiss, was a um, sealer of the deal that they indeed had captured Jesus. It's funny how an act of affection can be considered an act of betrayal, but it's true, especially when that um, affection comes from dishonesty, disrespect, um, some way an act of um, falsehood, You know, you can kiss and love on people and not really love them. You can um, display affection and not really have genuine affection for people. And that's why the Solomon says an honest answer. And I'm reading now from the NIV is like a kiss on the lips. When somebody is honest, when somebody is genuine, when somebody is righteous, it is a act of intimacy. When you can be honest with people. Because there's so much falsehood, there's so much dishonesty, there's so many people that are faking their love and faking their affection and faking their respect that when it comes from an honest place, when it comes from a genuine place, it means so much to the person that receives that love. And the honesty is a reflection of trust. You know, when people are dishonest with you, in many cases, it is a reflection that they don't trust you. They don't trust you. They don't trust you with the truth. They don't trust you to um, 
treat them right. They don't trust you to admit their failure. They don't trust you to acknowledge what they have to say. And oftentimes they are dishonest. And, you know, I've had, I had someone who told me one time they didn't want to be disrespectful. And I said to them that dishonesty is the highest form of disrespect because it means that you either don't trust them or it means that you think that they're foolish enough to believe your dishonesty. And so when you're honest, when you're forthright, when you operate in integrity, it is an, indeed an act of affection. He goes on to give some life advice, life advice. And it's important that priorities are put in order in order to secure a good living. You know, people who are successful, people who are able to retire with a level of wealth, people who are able to um, plan for the future really is a reflection of their wisdom. It's a reflection of God's provision, but it's also a, a, a reflection of their wisdom because God not only gave them the property or gave them the job or gave them the pension, he also gave them the manner in which they would not squander it away. So he tells them to put your outdoor work in order. In other words, get your farm and get your field and get the things, hallelujah, put them in order and get your fields ready. In other words, provide for yourself, provide the means by which you will obtain the wealth. And after that, build your house. Remember that a lot of the Jews, a lot of the children of Israel were nomads. They had lived in tents for, for, for hundreds of years. They had occupied land in tents. And now Solomon is saying, create something permanent. Create something that will last. Create something, you know, I, I would advise anybody if it's possible, and it's not always possible everywhere, but if you can buy your home, buy your home. I know a lot of people in northeastern areas, in urban areas, they rent because, hallelujah, property is so expensive, and I understand that, but if you have the opportunity to buy, I'm talking especially to younger people, if you have the opportunity to buy, make the sacrifice and buy it so that you own it. When you rent it, you just keep making somebody else rich. It's providing a place, it's providing a place to stay, but you're just simply making someone else rich. When you buy it, you make yourself rich because it becomes an asset. So he says, prepare yourself, put your work in order, get your fields together and, together, and after that, buy or build rather your house. Build your house so you have something of permanence that lasts. Verses 28 and 29, do not testify against your neighbor without cause. In other words, don't be a false witness. Would you use your lips to mislead? In other words, would you use your testimony to mislead others? Don't be a false witness. And look at verse 29. Do not say I will do to them as they have done to me because some people lie on others because somebody lied on them. Somebody told a lie, somebody shared a falsehood, somebody propagated something that wasn't true. And then you get the opportunity to get them back. Hallelujah. The Bible keeps talking against the notion of revenge, the notion of revenge. I know a lot of us have had negative experiences. I know a lot of us have had people treat us badly. And sometimes the tables turn and you get the opportunity to get back at them. But if it means testifying against them falsely, because the Bible is one of the 10 commandments that you not be bear false witness against your neighbor, that you not allow yourself to be sucked in to saying something negative because somebody said something negative about you. There are liars everywhere. I wish I could tell you otherwise, but there are liars everywhere, but you have to decide if you're going to be one of them. If you're going to be a liar, if you're going to be a person that does not operate in integrity, if you're going to run around and spread lies and rumors and all kinds of things about other people simply because they did it to you, that's not a good enough reason because they lied on Jesus. Yes, they did. They lied on Jesus. They, they called him everything except the son of God. They called him a wine bibber. They called him a glutton. They called him a bastard. They called him every kind of name. And then they even produced witnesses 
that told lies at the trial. They produced witnesses that blasphemed against him, that shared things against him as a means of trying to destroy him. But I came to remind all of us, hallelujah, that the Bible says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. The Lord claims the right of vengeance. The Lord claims the right of revenge, and he will avenge the damage that is done to his sons and daughters. He's telling us in the scripture, stay out of it. Oh God, stay out of it. Stay out of it. I know they hurt you. I know they made you angry. I know they did things that were false and negative against you. But when it comes to getting back at them, he says, stay out of it. We see, we, we've been talking about this, about simply loving our enemies, even if they have not treated us right, even if they worked towards our destruction, even if they did and said things that were ungodly, you make sure you give that honest kiss. You make sure that you do what is right. You make sure that you please God and not your flesh. Your flesh wants revenge. Yes, it does. Your flesh wants, hallelujah, your flesh wants hallelujah, to get back at them. But that's right, Deacon, stay out of it. Hallelujah, stay out of it. Hallelujah, stand back and watch God defend you, fight for you, protect you, hallelujah, and cover you. The Lord's going to do it. I know it's hard. Oh, my God. And sometimes life puts you in the position where you can get them back. You can go after them. You can create havoc in their lives, their relationships, their ministries. You you can do all of that, but don't allow the flesh to push you into trying to take the place of God. Because when you become the avenger, when you become the seeker of revenge, you are taking God's place and God is the judge. Yes, he is. God is the judge and God is the actor of vengeance. If there's going to be vengeance, it's going to have to come from God. It's not going to come from me. I'm not going to try to do anything against you. I'm not going to try to do anything to hurt you. Hallelujah, because that is not the will of God. But God intends, God intends for us to allow him to exact vengeance. God means for us to stand up for what's right to act in integrity, but then allow the judgment to come from him, allow the judgment to come from him. If there is any judgment and I've seen God's judgment against people who have done evil, I've seen it. I've lived to see it. I've seen it, but I don't relish in it. I don't celebrate in it. I don't even talk about it, but I saw it. I saw God do exactly what he promised that he would do. I saw God avenge the enemy. I saw God do what he does, but I would rather say, have God fight for me than to try to fight by myself. I would rather have God defend me than I just have to try to defend myself. I would rather have God protect me than I try to protect myself. Why? Because he's stronger, because he's mightier, because he, uh, he knows the end from the beginning, because he sees and knows everything and he's connected with everything. I would rather have God do it. I know it's challenging. I know it's difficult, especially when you know the person and you know the wrong that they did and you have felt the sting of the betrayal. But I came to tell you as the Lord's servant, let the Lord deal with it. Let the Lord handle it because he knows how and he knows much better to deal with it. And the vengeance, my God, belongs to him. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for this word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. Lord, every day you show us favor. Every day you show us grace. Every day you show us, God, what you are able to perform and how you are able to help your sons and daughters. And I thank you, God, for last night's rest. And I thank you for waking us this morning. Lord, we're in our right minds, able to get out of the bed, able to get prepared to join this great cadre of believers, God, from all over the world. I thank you, God, for the morning prayer family. And whether we have come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or the conference call, 
I thank you that we're here today in the prayer room. I thank you, God, hallelujah, that we're gathered together one more time and able, hallelujah, to pray, able to seek your face, able to seek, hallelujah, your counseling your guidance and i'm asking you god to remember everybody that is on this prayer line today whether they've come by facebook or instagram or the conference call or youtube i want you to oh god flood the prayer room my god with your presence right now and as you flood the prayer room i want you to release my god miracle signs and wonders oh she i want you to release your power in our midst right now i want you to release your glory among us to the end God that miracles are wrought unexpected favor is released and the people of God are blessed in abundance my God I'm praying for everybody in the prayer room and I'm praying for every name that is on the prayer list Lord whether it's come by the chat or the text or messenger or email however it has come God we are praying for you to look and to see and to hear oh God the requests that are made my God and to intervene and such a powerful way that deliverance is released right now provision oh god is made that doors are open that lives are changed my god to your glory and to your honor god i'm praying for the names on the prayer list today i'm praying god that you remember Greater Victory Temple in Massachusetts and North Carolina. Remember the Tabernacle of Deliverance. Remember Pastor Donald Williams. Remember my God, Elder James Brown. Remember Pastor Andre Brown. Remember the Mount Olive Church of Benton, Mississippi. Remember my God, Mount Olive of Greensboro, North Carolina. Remember the Bible Way Church of Augusta, Georgia. Remember my God, Minister Reuben Wright. Remember Mother Celine Joseph today. God, I pray for the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. From the board of apostles to the board of bishops to the board of presbyters. My God, to every leader of every auxiliary, to every congregation around the world. God, I'm praying that you would undertake and bless now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying, my God, that you remember Region 7 today. Every bishop, every pastor, every first lady, every leader, and every member of every congregation. God, Lord, touch in a powerful way. God, remember all of the churches. Oh God, and the saints of the Caribbean. Remember, my God, Trinidad, Tobago. Remember, Bishop and Mother Joseph today. Remember, my God, in your precious name. Jamaica. Remember Bishop Hallelujah and Hallelujah Mother Hamilton. Remember Bishop Hallelujah and Mother Curry. Remember Bishop and Mother Gordon today and all of the pastors and churches, oh God, in Jamaica. Remember the Leeward Islands Diocese, God. Remember Trinidad. Remember my God, St. Kitts, St. Lucia. Remember my God, the Dominican Republic and Grenada. All of the pastors and the leaders. God, remember the Ecclesia Diocese. God, every pastor, every leader. Remember Pastor and Lady Brown. Remember Pastor and Lady Powell today. Remember Elder and Mother Taylor today in the name of Jesus. Remember every congregation. Remember my God. Hallelujah. Bishop and Sister Howell this morning. God, I pray for Missionary Janice Johnson. I pray for Vicki and family. I pray for Sheila Scott, the Scott family, the Hare family, the Brown family, Josiah. I pray for Michael. I pray my God for Sister Mary Dykes. I pray for the Barnwell family, the Flood family, the Clark family, the Smith family. God, we lift up the homeless today. We pray for those that need jobs. We pray for the incarcerated. My God, everywhere that you would protect them, undertake and deliver them in the name of Jesus. We lift up backsliders everywhere. We pray, my God, for Sister Cynthia Bazin. We pray for Ricky and Tony today. Everybody, everywhere, God, that is on this prayer list, God. We're praying that you remember, oh God, Sister Sheila Reed, that you remember Kenya, that you remember Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. God, strengthen and provide. Remember, my God, for Irvin Johnson. God, deliver and set free in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for Vanessa Chambers. We pray, my God, for the overcoming church of Asheville, Alabama. Remember, Apostle, hallelujah, Charles and Lady Williams today. Remember, my God, the Bible way number one of Augusta. Remember, Apostle Sylvester Norwood. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Bishop Monty Norwood, Lady Wanda Norwood. Remember, Dexter and Sean and 
and Bridget. Remember Susan Maynard today. Remember my God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Leon and Reed family. Remember Mother Bernard. Remember Bradley today. Remember my God. Hallelujah. Latasia. Remember. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Stefan. God have your way right now. Remember the crowd of family. Remember my God. Sherman Giles. Mary Giles. Remember Joe Giles. Remember Ray Harrison. Barbara Ass. Adonis Rucker today. Remember Sheena Robertson. Dorothea Rucker. Remember Greta Fuller Sanchez today. Remember my God. Deacon and Mother Wilkins. Remember the Brown and Treadwell families. God I pray for Vaughn and Kim today. I pray for Raylene and Bria. I pray for Jamal and Takasha Greer and the Greer family. I pray for Terrence and Manessa Greer. I pray for Brittany today. I pray for Kenneth Perry and his family. I pray for missionary Shay Peterson, missionary Rosa Hicks. I pray for Stacy and Trayvon this morning, for Buddy Winston, God. I lift up Herman McCray. I pray for Kayla Williams today. I pray for Raquel Brown. I pray for Mother Blanche and the Stacy family, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Eric today. God, bring deliverance. I pray for Artis. I pray, God, that you remember Kim Wright, that you remember the sons and daughters and the family of all of the saints, God. Remember Juliet Johnson and family today. Remember Jonathan Beatty. Remember Zonia Jefferson and Catherine Jefferson. Remember the Dorn family. Remember Drew today. Remember Raylene and Bria. Remember Darnell. Remember Nair. Remember Mother Ava Gardner. Remember Adrian today. Remember Tiffany and Sons. Everybody on this prayer list today. Everybody whose name is in the chat sent by text or messenger or email. God undertake for them and deliver them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you would save, save, save my God to the utmost. Wash in your blood. Deliver out of sin today and redeem oh God by the water and by the spirit. Lord I pray today that you remember the backslider that you reclaim and restore in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray God for everybody that's burdened everybody that's broken, everybody that's downcast that God you would touch and deliver in the name of Jesus Christ. God I pray now for healing of the sick everywhere. Everywhere somebody's recovering, everywhere somebody's fighting an illness, somebody's fighting cancer, somebody's fighting kidney disease, MS, all manner of sicknesses. But the Lord, Lord, you heal all manner of disease. So I pray God for Charity Stroman, healing for the body, the soul, and the spirit. I pray, my God, for Cynthia Jackson Perry. I pray for Kathleen Murphy Jackson. I pray for Sister Deborah's friends today. God, I pray for Mother Reavers, Mother Bryant, Mother Sharp. I pray for Sister Gertrude Austin. I pray for Kiara Mitchum. I pray for Daphne Bullock today. Oh God, I pray for Sister Black. I pray for Tina Parrish today. Zeeland Richardson. I pray, my God, hallelujah, for Nikita's mother this morning. I pray for Bridget. I pray for Missionary Holt, Missionary Bryant, Mother Rashida Moya. I pray for Sister Edwards today. I pray for Apostle James May from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, God. Lord, touch and heal his body in the name of Jesus. I pray for Mariah. I pray for Mother Lula Jenkins. I pray I pray for Jasmine Jones. I pray for the Jenkins family. I lift up Elder Benjamin Fomby. Thank you, God, for what you're doing for the servant of the Lord. Now, God, continue that healing process. I pray for Miracle Smith, God, for her deliverance. I pray for Margie Myrick, for Sheila Reed, for Tammy Givens. Thank you for touching Gary Pugh today. God, remember Lady Gail Dalton, Shardell Willis. Remember Sandra Kennedy today. Remember Samaya Lawrence. Remember Jalea. My God, Mother Ozzie Taylor, Shardell Willis today. Jasmine Johnson. Remember my God, Brian Reeves' mother. Remember Shirley Hayden Spann. Remember Deborah Walker. Remember Aaron God today in the name of Jesus. I pray God that you remember Lady Davis, Geneva. God, remember Dariana. Remember Sister Angela Davis. Remember Azaria. Remember Sister Phoenicia Lunsford today. Bishop Michael Austin. Remember my God, Sister Sarah Corden. Remember Mother Florence May. Mother Norma Berry today. Remember Christy Harrison's husband. Remember Mary Ann Harris. Remember Nettie Hart today. Dr. Sawyer. Remember Ann Hilton this morning. Remember Will Smith Sr. Remember Malik. Remember Courtney Remus today. Alexis. Remember Roberta Jenkins today. Lamont Rickenbacker. Remember Susan Cole. Remember Charlie Britt today. Remember Pretty Patel in the name of Jesus. I pray God that you remember in your precious name everybody that's suffering in their bodies today. God remember them, touch them, and heal them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ because we know that you are a healer. God, I pray today that you remember 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, everybody. Remember Minister Perkins. Remember Daniel Xavier. Remember my God, Deacon at Adams today. Deacon and Mother Wilson. Deacon and Sister Harrison. Remember Brother Phil Solomon. Remember Elder Toll's mother. Elder Toll, Elder Dokes today. I pray, God, that you remember Mother Virgie DuBose, Mother Mary Williams, Mother Lloyd, Mother Perry, Mother Meadows today. Missionary Janet Davis. Missionary Joyce Domingo. Missionary Gail Hardy. Missionary Marlene Roseman. Missionary Jesse Brisbane. God, remember Missionary Hodges today. I pray for Sister Denise McLean. I pray, God, for your healing, oh God, to be upon, hallelujah, Mother Elizabeth Wilson. Oh God, upon, upon Brother Carl today. Upon Deacon James Grant. God, Philip Grant today. Remember Pastor and Lady Winston. Bishop and Mother D. Apostle and Lady Keith today. I pray for Bishop Alfonso Brooks. Bishop Early Dillard. Mother Shirley Clark. Mother Evangeline Jenkins. Lady Andrea Maxwell. God, Mother Close today. Remember Sister Lisa Mays. Remember, my God, Sister Shakaya Polk. Mother Carol Coleman. I pray for Bishop Richard Johnson. Bishop Richard Phillips. Bishop Rich Reginald Griffin. Bishop Clonell Williams. Bishop Irving Taylor. Bishop Gregory Wilder. Bishop Larry Arnold. Bishop Alvin Palmer. Bishop Johnny Davis. Bishop William Jenkins. Bishop Stephen Harper. Bishop Brian Williams. Bishop Thomas Aaron. Bishop David Smith today. Remember Mother Johnson. Mother Viola Johnson. Remember Lady J. Lady Williams. Remember Mother Hardy. Lady Barbara Vincent today. Lady Pamela Davenport. Lady Deborah Carter. I pray for Apostle Hugh Dale Rowe. I pray for Apostle Herbert Edwards. Apostle Leroy Joseph. Apostle Charles Williams. Apostle Sylvester Norwood. God, in the name of Jesus, remember Brother Wiggins. Remember Brother and Mother Sherrod. Remember Mother Garland today. Remember Dr. Haywood, Sister Haywood, Dr. Haywood's mother. Remember Mother Jill and Mother Pride today. I pray, my God, for healing. Oh, God, upon Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray, Brother and Mother Chambers today. Remember Mother Carter this morning. Mother Moorhead. God, remember in the name of Jesus. Remember Lady Staten today. Remember Minister Carr, Elder Tyson and Elder Smith. Remember Mother Foster, Henry J. and Brother Cliff. Remember my God, Mother Tanaj, Mother Home and Missionary Simmons. Remember my God, Cynthia, Catherine and Duchess. I pray for Marlette today. I pray for Maurice today. I pray for Tony and Dennis and Kimberly and Chris, God. I pray for Cynthia, for Mother Jackson, for Apostle Moultrie. God, send your healing virtue to every hospital, every nursing home, every rehab center. My God, even in hospice, you remain the healer. Lord, I pray today that you remember the bereaved everywhere. So many have lost loved ones, but we're praying, my God, for comfort and grace and peace to be upon them right now. Remember, my God, hallelujah. Oh, God, Brother Elliot Tanaj and his family. Remember Sister Gwendolyn McBride and her family. Remember, oh, God, Sister Tammy Patterson and her family. Remember Deacon and Mother Ganey and the Joyner family. Remember Deacon and Sister Clark. Remember Eleanor Simpson. Remember Sister Croxton. Remember Pastor and Lady Fears and the Greater Ecclesia Church of the Poconos. I pray for Lady Yolanda Thomas and her family, for Sister Marjorie Thomas and her family, for Apostle and Mother Clark today. I pray for the Christ Temple Church family. I pray for Mother Beverly Hargrove and the Hargrove and Terry families. I pray for the Forehands, for the Michaels, for the Jenkins, for the Davenports. I pray for Deacon Shannon and the Davenports of Connecticut. I pray for Edna Peace. I pray for Minister Leon Swanigan today. I pray for the Burton family, Sean and Braylon. I pray for Michelle. I pray for Renee Titus. I pray for the family and friends of Sister Kilpatrick today. Lord, we're praying that you remember, my God, hallelujah, remember Duchess Horton and her family. Remember Crystal Goodman and family. Remember, hallelujah, the Durham family, the Robertson family. Remember the Lawrence family, the Gaynor family, the Bogues family. Remember the families of those involved in disasters and accidents, God. Remember the Dews family. Remember Miss Maggie and family, the Sparrow family, Lydia's family. Remember the Rector family. Remember Mary Bennett and family. Mary Street and family, the family of Bobby Nell. God, remember Nitsa Roca and family. Remember the great Emmanuel Temple Church family in Kennett Square. Remember the Burton family, the Holloway family, the Goodman family, the Felix family, the Ratchford family. Remember Terrence Leach and family. Remember Sister Daphne Bullock and family. I pray, my God, for Mother Moya, hallelujah, and Mother Walker today, for Jaleesa, for Jackie, for Jerry, for Takesha, for Phoenicia and Whitney and their families. I pray, my God, for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric, Mother Close and the family. I pray for Dr. Carter and the family. I pray, God, for Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, the Quarles family. Remember Mother Harrell and the family. Remember Mother Grant and the family. Remember the Groover 
family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family, the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. God, remember them in a special way. The Meadows, the Moyer family, God, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters. God, I pray today that you remember the White family, Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families. God, I pray today that you remember grieving people everywhere. God, touch them and keep them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, hallelujah, the ways, the Bankses. Remember the Taylors, the Middletons. God, remember, my God, in the name of Jesus, the Winninghams. Remember, my God, the Bankses today. Remember, Lord, the Purdies, every grieving family everywhere. I pray, God, that you remember the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannings, the Booldrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs. I pray for the Davises today, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayes, the Moors, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams, and the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, remember them now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, my God, that you remember the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder, every mother and missionary, every minister and deacon, every first lady, all the pastor's children, all the young people of the church. God, remember musicians, singers, and psalmists. God, the entire church today. I pray, God, that you strengthen the church. Help the church to make progress. Help the church to avoid revenge and vengeful acts in the name of Jesus and to love even those that have hurt us, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray for school employees and students everywhere. I pray, God, that you remember everybody that works. Cover them. Keep them under your precious blood. God, remember everybody that needs a job. God, create an opportunity. Everybody on a fixed income or in need of provision, God, make a way. And everybody, my God, that's homeless, God, open a door. God, I pray today for this troubled world. Trouble everywhere, but you remain the bomb in Gilead. So God, strengthen us, help us, and keep us today. And God, heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from hatred and jealousy and violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you today. Cover us, keep us, protect us. As you do all of this, we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and let's give God praise right now. Everybody, everybody on the line, come on, let's give God praise right now. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy, hallelujah, of our praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This is my declaration for today. Righteousness brings progress. Hallelujah. Righteousness brings progress. You don't have to lie, cheat, connive, and steal. Hallelujah. To get ahead. Hallelujah. Just trust God. The Bible says, and do good. And verily thou shalt dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. That's the scriptural promise to us. That if we simply do what is right, if we honor God with our whole lives, if we honor God with our substance, if we honor God with our, hallelujah, everything about us, God has promised to bless us. No good thing, the scripture said, what I will hold from them that simply walk upright before me. Do the will of God. Live the will of God and watch God bless your life in abundance. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming and keep sharing the number. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everyone. Everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry, we are winding down this month of celebration of um, four years of continual prayer. And if you have not given four of something, do that today. Do it tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. Four of anything, four dollars, four fives, four tens, four twenties, four fifties, however you can multiply by four. Hallelujah. Be a blessing and God will bless you. And you can mail that gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina. 
27215. That's Refuge Temple, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple, N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, and you can give on the donate page. You can also give with the Givelify app. Just type in Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O N E, capital R E F U G E, one refuge, one refuge, and you can make your gift there. You'll see a picture of the church logo as you make your gift in Jesus' name. And we thank you for your giving, but we thank you most of all for being connected with the morning prayer family because God is blessing people all over the world because we are praying together. So please keep coming and please keep praying. Hallelujah. Look, don't forget on this coming Saturday at 3.30, I will be in Chesterfield, Virginia at the Grace Alive Church with the Virginia Central Diocese led by Bishop Mac Vincent, Lady Barbara Vincent. We're going to be at Grace Alive that is pastored, hallelujah, by District Elder Rodney and Sister Sharon Williams. So come and be with us. The service time is 3.30 on Saturday, 3.30 on Saturday, and you can meet us there. And I know God's going to bless us in a wonderful way. I love the morning prayer family. Please keep coming and please keep praying. And as you pray, pray for me, pray for Lady Davis, pray for our children, pray for my father, my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might cover us and keep us. The Lord keep us honest and loving and forgiving as we deal with people along the way. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom. Shalom.